Wednesday. Wednesday. It's a lot of noise in my house today. Anyways, hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam. I love beauty, all beauty, everything beauty. Stay tuned. So I'm gonna go over my Chanel mini connect collection that I have. Ugh that I have and go over about it and talk to you guys about it. So I'm going to start with the first one and then I'm going to talk about what I ordered, what I'm waiting on, and if I'm going to do a review or not. So stay tuned. First one I'm going to go over is the Chanel Quad. Obviously the four colors, they all come in different shades. Me, because I love being neutral, obviously today didn't go too neutral, but that's okay, is the neutral palette quad I like to call it it's not what it's called it is called Claire Obscure anyways it's the quadra eyeshadows okay there you go so you could tell I use it way too much I'm almost done with this color right here which is like my favorite color almost done with that this runs for $62 I believe okay it is worth it in my experience because it's very pigmented. I feel as, you know, the for the amount that it lasts, which is 18 months, um, the colors don't seem to fade for whatever reason. Chanel products are really good and I really love it. Whether it's skincare, makeup, um, I don't own a bag. So... Don't ask me about that. <laughs> but hopefully one day I will. Who knows? Second one recently that I got is one of their lipsticks. I think my cat just opened the door. Her name's Bella. She's like a little tiger. And this one is called Pro Allure Velvet 69 Abstract, if I'm saying that right. And I'm going to swap the color right here. And that is the color. Bam. Love it. Get it. If you don't have it. I'll list the amounts, the dollar signs below. We're going to go right into the calligraphy liner. I love this liner meaning love it it doesn't smudge on me i don't have it on today but it does not smudge on me it does not it is long lasting wear just get it and it comes with a little tiny brush which is right here i'm gonna open that let's swatch it for you guys so you can see i mean it's pigmented when i mean pigmented i mean pigmented Just look at that. Why on earth would you go to anything else? Besides that tattoo I know from Kat Von D. That's it. That's it. Look at that. I've been wearing it a lot. As you could tell, soon I'm going to be on. But this right here is everything. Every. And just to show you guys that it doesn't come off easily. I mean, look at the mess that I've done. It doesn't come off easily. So, if you want something that's long lasting, I'm telling you, this is it right now. I'm not gonna bother taking it off. It's just too much work right now. Next, I'm gonna go with the crayon. The La Rouge Crayon de Colleur matte. I hope I'm saying that right. If not, I tried. It is the Jumbo Long Wear Matte Lip Crayon. It is the color 267 Impulsion because I was impulsed to buy this. That is the swatch right there. Bring it closer to you guys. There you go. And it looks good on my skin. I'm very fair, so... 
Next one that I'm going to do is the Ombre Premiere, and this is the green that I was looking for, which is called Verde, Ra Verde Rame. That's how I'm going to say it, because, you know, Verde is green. Hello. Was looking for a green. I forgot what I needed this for, whether it was for Christmas or New Year's. I, I don't remember. But this is the color. And it comes with a little brush in there. So I'm just gonna, actually gonna clean it out a bit. Now grab it. And we are gonna wash it right here. And so creamy. And it's so creamy. It's nice. I'm oily in general, so I mean, I have oily skin everywhere and my eyelids and everything, but this does not get oily on me so I like that it has a lot to do also with what primer you use but it does not get oily so I would recommend so that's the green one that I got okay next one if you haven't tried their nail polishes please do they're great I don't know what else to say they're long lasting they don't chip easily especially if you get the top coat of the Chanel one which I didn't because I like the top coat that they use at my nail salon when I do my pedicure so but hey it doesn't hurt could bring it and they'll do it so this color is called but organdi is the color and it is number 504 okay it's like a neutral type of color and I'm not gonna put it on my nails because hello cat eye so I'm gonna put it right here so you guys can see this would be a good, good like lip color I should find this color but there you go that is the color I'm gonna wipe that off before it gets on me everywhere good. nail polish smell love it go get that one I usually use that on my pedicure so <coughs> summertime hello skincare my mother over Christmas she got me a nice travel size gift that comes with the bag and in it comes the cream the hydro beauty serum and the makeup remover so all travel sizes here's the makeup remover I've used this before we've had the big bottle I haven't reused it rebuy it again but I will soon I just haven't had time and I'm still have a little bit left over including this so I'm just gonna use all of it so this is it this is the cream which I have to say this is one of my favorite skin creams besides Kiehl's. I really love Kiehl's and I would, this would be my se my second or my first choice, whatever. I mean, vice versa. It doesn't really matter to me. It's the two products that I use. Kiehl's, this one for cream. So you open it and it comes like a little, little scoop type of thing. And you like a flip here so you tap that open and boom and you just sweep 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 and spread it everywhere and hydrate yourself it's important especially if you have oily skin hydrate the heck out of your skin this is the micro serum this is good love it I use it mostly at night though I have to be honest not during the day so if you want this, use it at night, daytime, doesn't matter. Next. I've looked everywhere. I haven't seen it back yet. I don't know if it is back yet. I was very upset, and I mean upset, when I heard that they were discontinuing the mask of Chanel, because I love this. 
it's good for my pores it gets the gut out and everything that I need all of the impurities in there it just comes right out especially on my nose so this works wonders I'm down to one this is my last one I'm still gonna try something as close to this um, I don't know if I will and I'm kind of upset so this was the Chanel mask don't know if they still carry it I highly doubt it because I haven't seen it and when I cleanse or whatever I'm doing um, I put this I leave this on for 10 minutes I take it off and I feel refreshed all beautified here's that okay next that I'm gonna go over is the water fresh tint it is the Chanel one you've seen this pretty much everywhere I really do like this product you could use it pretty much a mixture with your foundation to give you that dewy glow look or you could use it alone just on your cheeks over here within your highlighter as well it just gives you that extra bam type of look so I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand very little so you guys can see how much it does so this is the drop right so look at that it is perfection I'm just gonna put that on my cheeks right now I mean if this is not perfect I don't know what is but I love it Alrighty, and as you can tell, even if I rub it off, it doesn't easily come off. So, it stays put. I like that. Okay, so if you want this, definitely get it. It comes in a box like this. And inside the box, I like to keep everything organized, as you can tell. The brush, and you just go like that, like that, anywhere. So last but not least, this was limited edition. I don't know if it still is. I highly doubt it. I mean, last time I was in Christmas, I actually saw it. So I had a blue one and this one. So this is the Rogue Coco Gloss 814. And it's in clear. I love this thing. As you could tell, I've used the heck out of it. Literally. So I'm actually going to put some because... I have dry lips, so. Let's put a couple here. I have like glitter everywhere for some reason. Like throughout the day, my eyeshadow just went everywhere and that's because I didn't set my base in there. So now it's late in the day and now it's everywhere. That's okay. So. I like that. That's how it looks. You can even put more. Go ahead. Do what your heart desires. Comment below. Let me know what you think. I do want to get a couple of things from spring 2020. I've seen a bunch of videos on it. And I don't know what to get next. But I am inspired by everything. By the colors. The pink the beige and it's good for like a valentine valentine type of theme so i would like to do a tutorial on that once i get my hands on it that's that oh how can i forget hello best bronzer so far in my life right now the soleil tan it is a makeup base. Comes with the plastic inside. This is it. I'm gonna do a swatch. Let's 
see that swatch right now. Right there. The good bronzer. Just got it. And it has like a creamy texture to it. Again, like I said, I'm oily. I usually t try my best to avoid those and get powder ones, but I did like the feel on that when I tried it on and I put it on my face the whole day and I went back to go get it because it was perfectly fine. So, oily skin people, do not be afraid. Get it. Five things I'm waiting on. I don't know what I just dropped. I ordered a shirt from Machino, so hopefully that comes in soon. I'm gonna try that on. I'll let you know how I like it, so forth and so forth. Um, I ordered a palette for Morphe. It's more of an old school palette, not so much new. It is the purple like eyeshadow palette, and they all were like $12 within that range. They had a special, I don't know if it's still going on or if it ended, not sure check their website and I got the Pia Louise um, eye primer base as well so we're gonna give that a try and oh, that's three right there I ordered four which is my fourth item is from Tati Beauty it is the palette that she restocked I did get my hands on it so I'm gonna do a review on it you guys know that I love neutral palettes and that is one that I definitely have to try. So when that comes in, I'm definitely doing a tutorial on that. The fifth item I'm waiting for, actually no, that was it. Those were my five. No, fifth item, I lied. <laughs> fifth item I'm waiting for is my Impressions Vanity Mirror. I ordered a trifold so I could put on my desk because I feel like it's easier for me to, you know, keep doing my makeup and things like that versus me doing my videos and literally what I was doing was putting pretty much a small mirror like this similar to this one that I have onto my ring light and that's how I was doing my eyeshadows um, but hey sometimes you gotta work with what you got that's it for today I hope you enjoyed my video my swatches my little mini collection going on here one last thing I do want to talk about before you leave I did not get to talk about the things that I got over Christmas let me know if you guys want me to go over that if you don't want me to that's fine but I did want to go over this because maybe it gives you an idea for next year so I'm a fan of Invicta watches. I never had an issue with their watches when I've gotten them in the past before for my father. So we happened to be at Roosevelt Field Mall doing Christmas shopping and there was an Invicta like counter in the middle, you know, when you're shopping through stands. So, we went there and all the watches were pretty much buy two get four free or buy one get 30% off or buy three or something like that. That was the sale. It was a good sale. I said, what the heck? Pay two of the price highest watches and then get four free. Four gifts right there. Why not? So that's what we did. And within those four, I did get myself a watch. I don't own a lot of watches the one watch I own that's exclusive is a Michelle watch I could show you guys and do a tutorial on that one day if you want and my other watch is the Samsung watch to match with my phone that I'm currently doing my video on so if you don't know about this phone do um, some YouTube searches on it I really like this phone cost me a little more than I thought but was it worth it yes I could pretty much dominate everything on this phone with this one tiny pen why not so 
you want me to do a tutorial on that, how I use my phone, then let me know to do my videos and stuff. And what kind of ringer light I'm using and other lights. Obviously, I'm just using my ringer light today because my ring light, I keep saying ringer light, my ring light because I didn't feel like having too much light today. I'm kind of tired, so I just, it's too much work. So the watch that I got is right here. Okay. It is like, not gold, I would say a rose gold with silver and this is the face. It's like a light white opal, like pearly pink, I guess you could say. Okay, and it has these little studs around them. It's pretty. So there you go. I don't know if you can see it better. That's the way it looks. Okay. My wrist is really small, so I mean if you take a good look at that, that's it's very tiny. And once it's closed, it's like this. Tiny wrist. This is the back of it. If you guys want to see. And then the back it does say Invicta Angel. Angel collection and it glow it's a night glow as well okay a hundred percent water resistant and is stainless steel and it is japan movement okay so if you guys want to know more about these watches research them they're not that bad at all are they luxury no do they have some watches that are a lot more expensive, yes. Would they be considered luxury then? Maybe, I'm not sure. And that's how it fits on. So this is just like a little idea for next year. If you wanna gift something to yourself and also get others within your family gifts, this is a good buy in my opinion and it's something that will last you for a very, very long time. Thank you for watching my videos. I'll be back soon with more beauty content, maybe fashion haul contents too. So stay tuned. Bye everyone.